I'm very pleased today we can chat to uh, Dr. Ben Atkins, who uh, is the president, no less, uh, of the Oral Health Foundation. Hello, sir. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Have you got any favourite songs with Smile in? I must tell you, I've I just put this on you, so there's been no prior warning at all, but you're, well, you're welcome just to say no, that, that works well too. I, do you know what? It's been one of those mornings I've heard quite a few today. You, you're probably the only person <laughs> That's what I thought. I thought it. <laughs> so I'm going to refrain from choosing one, because otherwise I'll upset people, won't I? Exactly, yes. And did you know that Wickham Lido is heated to 27 degrees? Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Apparently not a lot of people are aware of that. I'd, I'd say more than not a lot, either. <laughs> I'd say virtually no one. Uh, but, but people might not realise it's National Smile Month as well. And I was really interested to see that, that kind of the research that you've done, there's, there's sort of two aspects to this, well, probably more, but, but especially with the amount of Zoom calls that people are doing, they might be conscious about, uh, you know, especially seeing themselves on, on a camera, which is something that people are not normally used to in everyday conversation. But they might suddenly, you know, be aware that perhaps, perhaps their smile isn't, isn't quite as, uh, I don't know, gleam, uh, perfect is, is the right word but, but as, 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 as pleasing to look at as they might have imagined. Yes the work done by the Oral Health Foundation and Invisalign researching how people feel about their smiles and things over the lockdown period that's really unearthed some amazing stats that we're now looking at ourselves a lot more on Zoom where we wouldn't have done historically that so it's the it's the Zoom boom phenomena that people are now often aware of their smiles and for me I think it's a really good thing that we can work on especially with the preventative journey getting people to brush their teeth twice a day with a fluoride toothpaste reducing that sugary snack because everything that we have in our mouths disease can be pretty much stopped if we if we don't if we look after ourselves properly. Because it's fascinating, isn't it? What, how I get, uh, like the twenty-seven degrees of pools, it's really interesting that people, people might not realise how how important oral health is. It's something you sort of take for granted, isn't it? You do. Everybody takes oral health for granted until something goes wrong, and it becomes phenomenally important because the mouth is it's the gateway to the body. So we often find that our patients are unaware how important their teeth are until they start giving them a lot of pain. Our teeth are there to last our lifetime. So by looking after them every single day, you're not really going to have to come visit me very much because it's totally preventable dental disease. Because as well, I think as well, I don't know if it's as you get older, but you, you do hear some quite sort of horror stories of people having to go through quite quite unpleasant sort of dental work. And as you say, if, if people had sort of taken more care earlier on, then they wouldn't have to sort of go through that perhaps. Yes, it's really important. If you brush your teeth twice a day with a fluoride toothpaste, you, if you can remove those sugary snacks from between mealtimes, you can't really go far wrong with, with your mouth. So by visiting the dentist as often as we recommend, give your dental practice a phone call, see what's going on, especially after the, the past year, our habits have changed. We are snacking more frequently. And especially with my children, the battle I have sometimes to get them to brush their teeth, it, it, even for me as a dental professional, it is a challenge. So I understand with my patients, but coming out of this COVID journey we're in at the moment, using oral health is something you can control. You can control this and make your mouth a lot better, healthier place. So give your dental practice a phone call, see when you can pop in. And we're using Zoom and that sort of thing just for oral health journeys. So we are open. We have been open pretty much all the way through the pandemic. So what would you say are the most common concerns that you get from people? Because as you say, you know, people should know, uh, to sort of, especially older people, to, to sort of brush their teeth twice a day. That, that's you know, something you're told from very young. But the people who still have, how, how can people best avoid, if you like, um, oral health issues? I suppose understanding your mouth. If you chat to your dentist and say, look, where am I missing brushing? What's happening? Because our teeth change shape as we get older. So, but little areas, you'll start missing more brush missing the way you clean so a, a big tip for me is buy some of those old disclosing tablets that we used to have as a kid and chew them up where, where the blue areas are brush them until all the blue's gone and your mouth will feel a lot cleaner then it makes such a difference they're not expensive pence and it can it can change your habit and get you to understand where you're missing brushing people are really valuing their teeth a lot more now especially after this zoom, zoom boom that we're going through at the moment people are looking at their smiles they're looking how they want to get a straighter smile get a cleaner teeth understanding how they can control their or their mouth because people can obviously it, it does affect people's confidence a lot if they're as you say if their teeth are slightly uh, perhaps uh, not as white as they'd like them to be or not as straight or if they've got teeth missing for example it's massive because if you think about it when we're walking down the street at the moment with the, our masks on and stuff we're not doing those little smiles to people as you walk through the door. That Someone walks through the door and you don't smile at them. You know eye contact because we've lost that integration considerably with the patient. So it's really, really important to have 
a nice smile because it it lifts you. So when we are uh, when we start unveiling our, our smiles again, people want these new straighter whiter teeth that are healthier. So by looking after your mouth, by straightening your teeth, you can build a lot of confidence. And we're we're only really understanding that because we've been hiding them for the past twelve months. That's a really good point, actually. And people may even forget about their their mouths and, and oral health because you know they've had them covered for so long. They really are. I, I've, I've had so many conversations with people saying they didn't realise how important their smile is. And the, and the psychological thing of someone smiling at you, it's a lovely thing. It's scary how many people haven't seen people for a long time. Um, for, for ease of radio, uh, Ben just smiled then, and it really does make a difference. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it does, though, doesn't it? As you say, if people, if, if people look kind of down or, they, you know, it kind of projects onto someone else, whereas if you smile, the other person who you're smiling at thinks, oh, that's really nice. A smile is worth a thousand words. It really is. Just a smile gives someone some comfort. It gives someone happiness. It makes you feel approachable. A mask really doesn't. So the sooner we get rid of these things, the better. But we've got to be careful in this this COVID world because we are being really careful and we're doing a really good job. And I'm really proud of the population of how we've managed this so far. A smile could help you go the extra mile. You could have that. That, that, Thanks. (laughs) <laughs> I'll, I'll write that one down <laughs> what's the main message that you hope that this this national smile month can get across for me i think it's important to go to the right place to get your teeth straightened by contacting we, we run a campaign called safe brace so it's safebrace.org. there's some really important messaging on there if you want further information about oral health dentalhealth.org is a fantastic website and there's also the invisalign website there's, there's so much information out there on how to do straighten your teeth safely or whiten them or look after them and you know what give your dental practice a phone call get them to tell you what's the best thing for your teeth because we're the expert on your smile because you often hear people say that they're really frightened of their dentist, which which I've been really lucky. I think I, I must have a very nice dentist, but but as well, and, I, and I've been very lucky in that I haven't needed sort of terrible dental um, work being done, or you know, if I hear I don't mind too much. But 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 you can understand, I suppose, people's people being really tentative about going to the dentist. But it, it seems, especially in the the sort of modern times, it, there seems mo- much more kind of friendly, if that's the right word, dental sort of treatments available that can easily help if you do have um, the, the slightest of issues. I think one of the successes of the 20th century is how we have dealt with people's fear in within dentistry. If you look at patients now, they want to come to see us. It's amazing how the six, last six months, how many people have come to us and said, oh, I'm really happy to see you. I mean, don't get me wrong, they've not seen anybody else for six months because they've been locked down and things, but the excitement of people actually getting dressed up to come and see the dentist has broken down a lot of barriers. Dental practices are the safest place to come because we've used PPE, all the last 20, 30 years, nothing of this is new to us. We're the safest place you can go to. And if you, people are often worried about coming to the dentist, but we, we've we started to like use these Zoom calls with patients so they can be relaxed in their own environment. So they can build that familiarity with your dental team. If you're worried about going to the dentist, give them a phone call, have a chat about it, tell them you're worried because we can spend all the time in the world to get rid of those, allay those fears. And it does seem as well, I don't know if this is something that you've noticed, but you, you do hear sort of fewer people having sort of bigger, if you like, dental issues. We are. The, the average dental health of the country is dramatically improving over the last 20 years with the help of fluoride toothpaste, with the help of preventative journeys. The, the worry that I have is dental decay is focused on the hardest to reach in society, where actually some areas have, have got worse. So the complexity in dentistry is still there but dental practices are phenomenally amazing at managing risk they are it blows me away sometimes so speak to your dentist about your worries and we can generally solve pretty much anything in the mouth these days and are there any kind of common myths as well around because i remember saying to my dentist when i turned 40 i thought are all my teeth going to fall out now do do, you is this 40 the age where things start going wrong and he said very dryly as well without even it just went no that's 50 and i and i thought Oh, uh, I was only joking, but I guess that people do think, you know, that there are certain issues that they, they might get or, or things like that. I think when my my gran was young, she had her all her teeth out for a 21st birthday present. You know, it was like it was a nice thing to have plastic dentures back in the day. And that is not long ago. You know, you're talking the 50s, 60s, that sort of era. However, you then think about how fluoride toothpaste has come in 
your teeth are there to last your lifetime without question if you look after your teeth you will be into your 90s with you with a full set of teeth so people who think it's easier to, to simply replace them all no keep your teeth brush them twice a day with a fluoride toothpaste reduce that sugar intake and you're really not going to go far wrong with your mouth it's really important it's fully preventable dental disease and it does seem, I'm sure it's a coincidence, but it does seem something really nice about having National Smile Month as, as restrictions are being used. And it does feel like we're, we're coming out of a, a very, di- very difficult time. Well, we are, we've organised it very well for this period. We <laughs> have that, yeah. And Boris listened to us. But it's really important to keep smiling. Thank you so much for your time. Great to chat to you. Right. See you soon. Uh, Dr Ben Atkins uh, from the Oral Health Foundation. He's the president. Uh, speaking to us here at Wickham Sound. Love music.